Hello, it's Lord Joy. Um, yeah, I'm wearing this because my hair is fluffy. I'm not trying to be cult culturally inappropriate, but I am reading from the Bible. So there is a verse that talks about women wearing head coverings and men not wearing head coverings, but I don't necessarily think we interpret that right. But I wanted to read some notes that I took from church today. One of them was that um, pearls are made of layers. And um, for the longest time, I thought my birthstone was a pearl. So I perked up when I heard that. But um, they're made of layers of spit. And as you know, in the Bible, Jesus spat on the ground, mixed his spit with blood, and then put it in the blind man's eyes. And, hold on, I just learned a word for blindness today. Oh, I keep this spot. You see it? Stand in the gap. Okay. What's the medical word for blindness? <laughs> <laughs> oh, epilepsia, spelled A-B-L-E-P-S-I-A. -E so, epilepsia is the condition of being blind, also called epilepsy. So, yeah, I just thought that was interesting. You stay there. So then we read from 2 Corinthians. I should have kept the spot. 2 Corinthians. Uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1 Timothy, 2 Corinthians. Wait, hold on. I, um, there's Corinthians. The second Corinthians. There you are. Second, oh yeah. The verse is, if anyone sins in Christ, he is a new creation. So we didn't write down the chapter. Oh, oh well. I just did all that for nothing. Uh, but if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. So if you have sinned in the past, that means... That if you accept Christ into your heart, then you are a new creation. You're not your old self. You don't have to be what you were before. Your brain doesn't have to stop at 30 years old. You can be, you can renew your mind no matter what age, you know. Because this doesn't specify an age. It just says if anyone is in Christ. He is a new creation. Anyway, then we read out of Luke 4, 1 through 13. So, this is Jesus being tempted in the wilderness. Let me see. Let me see. Where are you? I'm not learning. There. I have a bookmark on it this time. <laughs> there you are. And Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit in the wilderness for 40 days, being tempted by the devil. And he ate nothing during those days. Nothing. And when they were ended, he was hungry. He was fleshly hungry. He was not like God. He was fleshly hungry. Okay. The devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, command the stone to become bread. And Jesus answered him, mm -hmm. It is written, Men shall not live by bread alone. And the devil took him up and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And he said to him, To you I will give all this authority and their glory, 
for it has been delivered to me. I gave it to whom I will. If you then will worship me. This is Satan's in this. And I will give it to whom I will, if you then will worship me. It will be all yours. And Jesus answered him, It is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. And he took him to Jerusalem and set him on the pinnacle of the temple and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here, for it is written, He shall Oh, yes, he will command his angels concerning you to guard you, and on their hands they will bear you up. On their hands. Oh, they're like kneeling on the ground, like a cheerleader formation. At least you strike your foot against the stone. That's weird. That means there's like a, a lot of them. He's like saying there's a lot of you guys. But there's not, because a lot of angels went to the dark side of the force. Um, and Jesus answered him, It is said, you shall not put the Lord your God to the test. And when the devil had ended every temptation, so that means there might have been more. He departed from him until an opportune time. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit to Galilee. And a report about him went through all the surrounding country. And he taught in their synagogues, being glorified by all. So, like all the glory he rejected, he got anyway because he was supposed to get it. So, when you're hungry, you forget that is the lesson. But when you're not hungry, you have a straight thinking mind is another lesson you can give in this. Anyway, the pastor talked about hiking. He said, prepare for the hike, wear the right clothes. He also said, watch out for the poison ivy. Watch out for poison ivy. Okay. Um, but that I think goes to another verse in the Bible where it's talking about put on the full armor of God so that you may be able to stand in the evil day. That is put on your clothes. So you won't get bitten by the snakes. Okay. We are all on a walk. Even though know thing he said. Oh yeah. And another thing I've been looking at is. um. So. When Jesus was baptized. He had a white dove descend on him. A white dove. Because doves are white. But I think the Bible specifies it was a white dove. But white is a color worn in history by people who uh, were symbolizing death. And the other color for that, which was switched when Victoria, Queen Victoria, mourned for the loss of her husband, I think. Um... She wore black to mourn his death. And she switched that all around. But, um, I read in this fashion book here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I won't get it out. There's not much time. I read in a fashion book that, um, black was worn by, I think it was Egyptian servants. Um, was it Egyptian? I have to find that out and get back to you. Because um, that means the Israelites were black. Oh, that would open up a whole new world. Because the angel of death came to the doors of the Egyptians. And that would symbolize the Passover. 
So I'll have to look into that. But the color of dress that is worn is often um, symbolizing something. You know, it, it symbolizes the mood you're feeling and what's going on in your life. And um, fashion is actually really important, much more important than we realize. <sighs> but mm, okay, back to this not taking. We are born sinners and we have the opportunity to be righteous. And we are born, I think that was a Bible verse. Even when we are righteous, we still fail. Jesus advocates for us. See me when you look at this person. Watch out for the poison ivy. <laughs> That's what I wrote. Anyway, my time is almost up. And that was a good talk. And I could talk for a long time. But thank you for listening, and um, have emotional resilience, be vision driven, have abundance, be selfish with your time, maintain full control of your life, and don't let things steal your focus. Anyway, those are notes I took off another video. Have a good day. I'll be you soon. Mm.